Cheese Puff Hero. Hey guys, Cheese Puff here, back in the City by Committee now, having a look. It seems a lot of things are flowing very smoothly. The uh, the mighty City by Committee is uh, seems they're doing well, except for of course Hell, which is always complaining. But uh, you know what? They can go to Hell. Irrational Heights. Uh, I think that's Root's thing, so he must have gone and renamed this district. I don't know if he created it. I haven't watched his uh, videos or anything. Uh, this is mine, and I hate this, <laughs> and I'm sorry that I ever built it. Okay, let's check out... Ooh. Ooh, this looks nice and new and fancy, and I'm loving it. I don't quite understand what this is going uh, as an overpass for. Maybe there's supposed to be some kind of line. I wonder where this is going to. How do I look at the tunnels? Do I... Aha, uh... Uh -huh. so that is connecting to there. There is connecting to there. Well, there are all kinds of crazy tunnels in the industrial district now. This is traffic hell. I think it needs a relief tunnel. I'll put that in. Like here, and then going underground. And it'll connect to that. Because a lot of people want to go that way. Somebody's gone and messed with my thing over here. Probably Chris, because this is his name. And I want to make this more beautiful. And the, the campus is my district. So I'm going to... I'm going to reposition the Museum of Art so it's in a more aesthetic place. That's better. Now I'll make a road that connects directly from there. And I'll fill this area along the sides with trees. That'll be perfect. There we go, now that looks a whole lot better. That empty space just is not very appealing. Uh, and this is new, the Irrational Mathematics Department. It is a science center. I'm actually going to rename it the Irrational Mathematics Department. This is new as well, the uh, Moore Park. It actually is not a slum anymore like it used to be. I'm going to do what everybody else has been waiting to do and just go ahead and demolish all of these because they don't serve a purpose anymore. Look, I did it, and now it's done, and we can't take it back. Also, there might be a little bit of crap inflow here because of the way that it's set up, but that will soon pass as all the rest of this drifts out to see. I'm going to go ahead and do something, to th and everybody will thank me for it. Now, isn't that much better? I am perfectly capable of making a fully functional and beautiful district. I mean, look at Cheese Puff Plaza. It's, it's highly effective in managing both traffic and demand, and that should carry over to any other district I make, and I'm sorry for producing that sh garbage quality district. So let me just move my services to a more sensible place and then I can relocate them back later rather than having to replace all of those buildings again like in SimCity where it would take a lot of uh, a lot of money now we should think of a very nice well laid out efficient district to go right in this little corridor Okay, so now most of our train lines in the entire city, as you can see if I go to the train map, are running underground. Damn, there are a lot of lines. Anyway, back to this area. Without that 
uh, train line blocking the way, I'm sure a much better area can be created. So I'm going to try to come up with like a little draft idea of what should go here. Okay, so as you can see, I've used a uh, six-lane road to build a basic outline around the district. Now I'm going to go through the process of laying a grid through it, which should be basically good enough. Okay, so I've gone and laid out through a uh, not particularly time-consuming but mind-numbingly boring process the horizontal lines of the grid. Now as I fill in the vertical lines of the grid I'll decide where this underground uh, highway connection will let out. I'm thinking somewhere in the middle of the district for optimal coverage or possibly split into multiple locations to optimize traffic. I don't know, we'll find out. Wow, look at that. It's all a nice grid. Now, I somehow had the uncanny ability to, without even trying, manage to, when I first did the horizontals, lay these out at the perfect length so that most of them are Y intersections. Uh, so that's really nice. And I think that I'm going to go the route of uh, splitting the highway connection and having one connection about here and one connection about here and that will allow us to you know if there's traffic going over here traffic going over there it'll be managed effectively now I'm gonna go ahead and uh, try to create a little area for it to be managed uh, first I guess I've got to split it I don't know how I'm gonna manage that okay what I've gone and done is I put these two highways at different uh, elevations right so the one coming in is at one click lower than the one going out so that I could do that neat thing where I kinda stacked them like that and then uh, first one is gonna lead down here and then let's start it right now Perfect. Now I've got this going from there down into that. Okay, so this is coming in. That's going out. Which means this one way should be going in that direction. And this one should be coming in this direction. Now let's just upgrade those to highway. It's easier to have them at uh, not as highway initially. Because then it's easier to make perfectly straight roads. And then later upgrade them to highway. Okay, now let's connect this here. Remove this connection and upgrade these to highway. Look at that. A beautiful, simple way to get the traffic from underground back into the above ground space. Now I'll just repeat this exact same process over there and then we can uh, get on to making the district an actual district instead of just, you know, a bunch of roads. Okay, one of the very first things that we need to get in the district is power. Uh, lucky for me, I already ran power to my other garbage district that was quite nearby. So, I'm just going to run some simple power into one of the first areas of the district. And then I can start some basic zoning. Uh, I'm going to do high density residential. Next to high density commercial then office and then kind of a weird one I'm going to put some low density residential in here because I think it looks nice and aesthetic to have some smaller buildings sometimes and when they get leveled up they turn into kind of like nice houses and mansions and stuff as opposed to these which turn into massive apartment buildings now I'm just going to repeat this pattern all the way down and this district will be complete Excellent. This all looks kind of like rows of crops in a field, except for their kind of odd colors. Now, if I press play, these office buildings will, I believe, start to fill up because there's a decent amount of demand for jobs. Yes, I was correct. Now, do they still have the coverage? No, they need way more water coverage. Okay, I'll work on that. 
What else does this growing district need? Probably parks, right? Paradox Plaza is typically a really effective uh, park. So you don't really have to put a ton of them or any close proximity. All you need is a little bit of overlap. And they usually make your citizens very happy. Awesome. Now this place is really growing. Can't wait to see what this develops into by the next time that I'm uh, captaining the ship. I'll try to put in one of these big skyscrapers too because I think that they're just cool. There we go. I've built a district around my uh, little district over here. And I'm going to call it Northridge because I can. One last thing that I've left to do is to place fire, uh, water, cremation, and any other kind of utilities that this area would need. I'm going to move back all my uh, things like this hospital. I'll have one in the north half and then one in the south half. That way we can have more healthcare coverage. Fire. It's going to need a big fire station just like that. Again, one in the north half, one in the south. And police is exactly the same way. Who keeps deleting my Paradox Plazas? They go there. I think I know what's going on. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, well, the major thing that I've done is I've gotten the ball rolling on North Ridge, the new kind of shoe shaped, if you look at it in a certain way district that will house a lot of population and be really nice and I can't wait to see its ultimate and spectacular failure due to something that I'm not foreseeing right now anyway guys this has been Cheese Puff in the city by committee don't forget to subscribe so you can see all of the episodes that follow and I will see you in the next one have a great day everyone